Okay, today we're performing a basic PM on a train RTU. So safety first, make sure you turn off your disconnect switch. We're gonna inspect the coils, clean the evaporator coils, and change the filters today. Remove this access panel to access your filters and the evaporator coil. Remove the old filters, they simply slide out. See, they're fairly dirty. I like using this no rinse coil cleaner. Works great. It also has a scrub cap on top to scrub the dust and debris off of the coil. You can see this coil's got some buildup on it, so we need to clean all that off. Wow. So I'll just use that special scrub cap and just be gentle on your evaporator coil cooling fins. You don't want to bend them or smash them. And if you can, I'd recommend wearing a respirator or a dust mask and safety glasses. Some of these units also have a reusable mesh screen inlet right here, and that can be cleaned or replaced as needed. So once I scrub most of the large debris off, then I'll use that no rinse coil cleaner. I'll speed up the video here a little bit in the interest of saving time, but I think you get the idea. Spray it down well, let the coil cleaner do its work. It's also a good time to check your P-trap, your, your condensate drain line there, make sure it's clean and clear and not clogged. And then you simply slide the new filters in place and just pay attention make sure the airflow arrow points into the unit toward the blower motor and I like to write the date on the filter when it was changed and then reattach your access panel this one had two small screws in the bottom. And then we'll also take a look at our condenser coil, make sure it's not bent or clogged or dirty. Inspect the fan blades. I hope this information helps you. Please like, share, subscribe, leave me a comment, and thanks for watching.